Hello. Today we're working on finding and fixing bugs. Finding and fi fixing bugs is in the commands chapter in Learn to Code 1. So the goal of this exercise is to find any bugs in our program and fix them. Sounds simple enough, but there are some tips that we're going to give you here along the way. It says here when you write code it's easy to make mistakes and a mistake that keeps your program from running correctly is called a bug and finding and fixing bugs is called debugging. So what they want us to do here is run this program, see if we can find any mistakes in the program, and go ahead and fix them. Okay, so the first thing we notice is that this code is written fine. I mean there's no red dots next to our code to indicate syntax errors. That means that there's no typing mistakes or mistakes in the way the commands are written. If there were, there'd be that red dot next to at least one of the lines in the code. Instead, there must be a logic error or a bug in the code, uh, and we need to debug it. So Byte must not be able to get to uh, complete the task he's supposed to uh, complete. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the puzzle here. And uh, it looks like there is one gem and one, one gem to collect and one switch to toggle. So uh, let's take a look, zoom in a little bit here, and run the code and see what Byte does. Okay, he moves forward. He turns left. He moves forward. He moves forward. It looks like he jumped up to try to collect a gem there and maybe tried to toggle a switch there at the end. Um, not sure, but uh, he's definitely not happy about this, and he didn't complete the task. Tried hard, uh, but didn't quite uh, grab the gem or, uh, or toggle the switch. So let's debug this uh, program, see what we can do to fix it here. There's a couple ways to go about doing this. Uh, one way would be we could look at our commands over here and you know try moving one to a different spot randomly or just guessing about uh, what the problem might be. Uh, this is definitely not the right way to debug a problem with your code. Instead, what we want to do is we want to uh, determine exactly what part of the code works and what part doesn't work um, so that we can you know determine what the sequence of commands is or should be before we actually go about uh, correcting it. So uh, let's walk through uh, what we want Byte to actually do and then we can fix our code. So I'm going to go back to the beginning here. I'm going to put Byte back at the beginning and then stop. Okay. So, so far, what he did there, moving forward, looks like he's on the right track. I mean, he's, he's going uh, toward the gem. That's good. And I think what he needs to do at this point is to move forward one more, then turn left, then move forward, collect the gem, move forward, and toggle the switch. Uh, but let's watch what he's done. So far, he's moved forward one here. He moves forward. Aha! He turns left uh, when he should be moving forward. Hmm. Okay, so what we want him to do is move forward one, then move forward again, then turn left. Okay, so looking at the code we have here, we have move forward, that's correct. Then we want him to move forward one more time before he turns left. So I can fix that by maybe grabbing this uh, command here, this move forward command. If you notice, once you've got it selected, you can drag this uh, command, this st statement, uh, up and down in here until you got it in the right space. The code moves out of the way so that you can put it in a space that you want. So before we run this again and try it out, let's actually look uh, at, and follow through the commands uh, and see if it, we think it's going to work. So starting back here at the beginning, I'll put byte back at the beginning here. Okay, move forward one, then he's going to move forward again, then he's going to turn left, then he's going to move forward to where the gem is, then he'll collect that gem, then move forward to the switch, and then toggle the switch. 
I think that looks okay. I think it looks like it's going to work here. So let's try it. Moves forward, move forward, turn left, move forward, collect the gem, move forward, toggle the switch. Excellent. Okay. So Byte looks like he solved the problem here. Now um, let's review a little bit the things we learned today. Uh, there's a couple of very important uh, ideas here. One, and, and first, uh, first is that um, always think through your bugs to find an answer. If you ever find yourself guessing or trying things randomly, just stop, put your code away. Maybe even go to sleep, sleep on it, and save that bug for the next day. You'll be surprised how much your brain figures out while you're sleeping. When you wake up, look at your code again and carefully determine what you want your program to do before you start changing your code. If you follow these rules, you'll save a lot of time and you'll always find that error. The other thing we learned today is that you can select uh, any line of code and drag it around inside your playground to the place you want it to be, and that's a nice fast way to modify your code. All right, so that's debugging. You got this. See you next time.